Hello everyone. In ancient times, there was no knowledge of electricity. But people still knew about electric shocks. People used to get shocks from this fish, which is now called as electric eel. And this fish was known as the protector of other fishes. Now when the people touched this fish, they knew that something was happening to them. But they didn't know that what actually it was. Now over the years, with the work of very great minds, we now know enough to understand all these phenomena and the science of electricity very well. In everyday life, you might have observed the working of different appliances in your homes and outside, like fan, the electric bulb, lamp and computers etc. Now, as we open the switch to all these devices, they get powered up and they start working. Now, have you ever wondered that what happens when we open the switch and how amazingly the fan starts rotating in a fraction of a second? Now, you might have also observed one more phenomena of these current carrying wires. Now, if a person touches these current carrying wires with the metal rod, he gets the shock. But if he does the same thing with a wooden stick or a plastic stick, he don't get the shock. So why is it so? This is because of the reason that different materials behave differently with the electric current. Some materials allow the electric current pass through them, but some materials do not allow the electric current pass through them. Now, if you have observed the outer covering of an electrical appliance, you will find out different ratings written on the outer covering of these appliances. These ratings include the voltage on which the electrical appliance works and the energy it consumes in a second which is called as power. Now you also might have heard about electric bulbs of rating 100 watts, 10 watts and also nowadays we are asked to use LEDs in place of electric bulbs. So you will understand that why are these ratings written on any electrical appliance and what is the use of these ratings. In our homes, we get the electricity bill every one or two months. And we have electric meters in our homes that shows a reading which calculates the amount of energy consumed by us in that period of one or two months and then we are charged for that. So have you ever wondered that what are we charged for every month by the electricity department? So in this chapter, we will understand all these concepts and we will try to answer the questions which we had raised and also understand the underlying principles involved. So when we are through with this chapter, you will be able to calculate your own electricity bill even before it is generated.